Hey guys, it's Nick and today we're checking out this 2023 Land Rover Defender 90. All right, getting into it. This is Gondola Stone. It's got the 20 inch wheels wrapped in all season Michelin tires, red Brembo brakes. This thing's badass. Black hood. It's got the black extended pack. So the whole front end's blacked out. It also has the black mirror caps, black roof. This is a 90. I feel like I don't see many of these out on the road. It's an X, so it's fully optioned out. One of my favorite features about the X is that it's got the um, tail lights that are kind of smoked instead of bright red. I think that's one of my favorite features. I think the red tail lights stick out like a sore thumb. I do wish the recovery hooks back there were painted black though. I think it would fit in a little bit better with this build. But overall, I like the exposed spare wheel. Personally, I'd probably go with some all-terrain tires on it. Don't really care for the all seasons that much, but yeah, let's check out under the hood. All right, under the hood, it's got the straight six turbocharged making 395 horsepower, 406 foot-pounds of torque. All right, hopping around back. You don't have the most trunk space, but this back seat folds down. It's a 40-20-40 configuration, so you can fold down just this center section if you just want to get some skis through there and sit two people. But even when you do fold them down, it's not fully flat. You kind of have a good three and a half, four inches of a lip here where it goes flat. Let's see if I can kind of show you that there. Just like that. And it's not 100% flat, it's got an incline. So if you were looking for a flat folding rear seat, this is not the one for you. I have seen people do it and what they do is they'll actually remove the bottom cushion to be able to fold it 100% flat. But yeah, not too bad. You do have some air ride buttons here so you can raise and lower it to load and unload heavy things. Little cigarette port there. And then I believe this one's got to be a domestic plug on this side. Perfect, 120 volts. Now hopping into the back seat, it's not too bad back here. I know that seat is pulled forward because I just got in it. But it's got this captain seating so I sit up a lot higher than everyone else, at least in the two front seats. We got great visibility out both sides, out the front, and even with that seat back, I mean, if I scoot over, I'm 5'8", and I've got plenty of room still. So, not too bad. And it's not too hard to get in and out of it. But yeah, let's hop into the front seat. Forgot to mention, it does have heated rear seats, and then you've got your ports down here, USB-A on both of those. I believe in the 20 through, uh, 2024s, they added USB-Cs. All right, hopping onto the interior. On this driver door, it's massive. It's extended from the 110. Has the Meridian, Meridian surround sound system. You've got your window switches and here with your memory seating. Close that door up. Media controls on the left. Cruise control, heated steering wheel on the right. All digital dash. And this one does have the heads up display. I don't know if you can see it out there in the distance. Kind of see a little P. There we go. Pretty sweet. It's got the bigger display. I wanna say it's a 13.1 inch. All touch, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Pretty sweet, tons of features on here. I mean, navigation, seats, climate, cameras. This does have the full 360. Check out that view. And then on this left screen, if I hit these cones, it'll adjust that view accordingly. You can go from a wide angle Same in the rear. They even got kind of side views, just in case you're off-roading or parallel parking. You got off-road cameras as well. 
that's the front and then the two front tires there it does have a locking center diff and a locking rear diff and then you got a whole bunch of off-road stuff downhill descent control your auto start stop your air ride push that it'll raise this low range traction control and right here you've got all your different drive modes so as i turn that eco comfort grass gravel snow mud ruts sand rock crawl you got your wade and configurable keep that in comfort gear selector you have a USB-C, USB-A, and your cigarette port. Cup holder, wireless charger, and this one does have the little cooler in the center console, which you turn on just by hitting that button there. Pretty nice to keep a few drinks, a couple Red Bulls or anything in there, nice and cold. Then on the little shelf, as I like to call it, you have another USB-C port there. And then behind the screen, it's actually kind of a pass-through which is pretty sweet and get all the way to the other side. This one does have the clear sight rear view mirror. So it's basically a camera built in there. I know a lot of trucks have been doing that lately. We've got the panoramic. Got the shade and the panoramic sliding options there. But yeah, overall this thing's pretty sweet. I don't know if I could daily a two-door defender, but it's definitely fun to drive. It almost feels like a razor on the street. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, feel free to let me know. Shoot me a message, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.